In this video, we're going to look at another type of logic problems called find missing digits. These type of problems are very similar to the fill in the blank problems we discussed in the other video. And again, the approaches are very similar. There are basically mainly three steps. The first step is really understand the problem clearly. Second step is to find a key constraints to the problem. And from those key constraints, you use logic deductions to limit the choices for certain digits. And third, once you have those limited choices, sometimes trial and error is necessary. So let's look at a warm-up question. In the following equation, each letter represents a digit. Could be the same. What is the value of B? An equation reads 2A5 times B equals 940. And 2A5 is a three-digit number. B is a single-digit number. And the multiplication result is 940. So how you solve it? In here, the key is really using the basic properties of multiply 5 with another number. We know that multiplying 5 only can be 0 or 5 in the unit digit. So 5 times b is going to equal 0 means b, b is even number, which means b only can be 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, right? Now 0 is obviously impossible because 0 times everything cannot be 940, it has to be a 0. So 0 impossible. And what are the value for b? If you have 2 around 200 times b equals 900 something, 940, the b is going to be bigger than 3, right? So b cannot be 2 either. Can b be too large? Let's say b equals 8. 200 times 8 is going to be more than 1600. So cannot be 940. So cannot be 8. Cannot be. This has to be b has to be equals 4. And with that, you can easily fill in the a. So 4, you have 5 times 4 equals 20. So you put a 2 here. So a, a times 4 plus the 2 is going to be 4, that a, a is going to be 3, sorry. 3 times 4 plus the 2 equals 14. So it's 235 times 4 equals 940. Of course, this is a very simple problem, and the key constraint is also very easy to spot. Basically, 9 times something equals 0, and then using the key constraint that 2 times that thing is going to be very close to 9, smaller than 9. The second problem is less trivial. Let's look at this problem. In the following equation, each letter represents a distinct digit from 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8. What is the value of C? So the equation says A, B, 2, a three-digit number, times C equals D, E, F. And A, B, C, D, F, six letters, and we have six digits, one, three, four, five, six, eight. So they are all distinct, they are all different. For this question, where is the key observation? Give you some minutes to think about. The key is actually really on the C. What C can be? And using the fact that all these letters are different. Can C be 1? Let's just look at all the possible cases for C. 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8. Question number 1. Can C be 1? If C is 1, 2 times 1, F has to be 2. So C cannot be 1. 
can see be 5? Well, 2 times 5 ends with a 0, so it cannot be 5. Can C be 6? 2 times 6 equals ends with 2. Okay, impossible. Can C be 8? For this, you cannot use 2 times 8, which is 6. It's best possible. But if C is 8, now think about the first digit. For this A times 8 to be smaller than 1,000, A has to be 1. And for A, 1 times 8, this D is going to be at least 8. But 9 is not there, and 8 is already used, so C cannot be 8 either. So C only possibly can be 3 or 4. That is a key limitation on the C. And from there, let's do a little bit of try and error to figure out the rest of the problem. So let's do actually think about C equals 4. When C equals 4, of course, 2 times 4 equals 8. So F has to be 8. So we have reduced the problem to be A, B, 2 times 4 equals B, E, Eight. Now here again, don't try to use try and error for everything. Let's again using a bit of logic deduction to see some other constraints here. Let's now think about for uh, b. What possible values for b here? For b, is it possible? So b now the choices are one. 3, 5, and a 6, right? Can B be 1? No. 1 times 4 equals a 4, so but 4 already used. Can B be 2? Oh, B be 3? If B is 3, 3 times 4 equals ends with a 2, two but 2 is already used. And B cannot be 5 because 5 times 4 ends with 0. B cannot be 6 either because 6 times 4 ends with a 4. Ah. So for C equals 4, really, there's no solution. And here you see, I did not try to do try and error for everything. Again, by this, looking at this reduced problem, uh, again using the limited choices for a digit for B. So let's see the case when C equals 3. And because C equals 3, 2 times 3 equals 6, so f has to be equal 6. So we have a, b, 2 times 3 equals d, e, 6. Okay, so again, we're going to using um, look at the choices for b. b in here. The potential candidates are 1, 4, 5, and 8. B cannot be 1 because 1 times 3 is a 3. B cannot be 4. 4 times 3 equals ends with a 2, but 2 is already used. B cannot be 5 because 5 times 3 equals 15, ends with 5, so already used. So B only can be 8. And then 3 times 8 equals a 4, e equals a 4. And then for this, you only have choices of uh, 4 and 8 are already used. It only has 1 and a 5 left, 4 and a d. And this is obvious. a has to be equals 1, and d equals 5. And that is the end of this problem. Um, again, to recap a little bit of these kind of questions, is to find a key constraint and from that key constraints maybe there will be only one case which you determine the digit or there will be two cases and then for two or three cases you're going to look at each of the subcase and maybe using the same technique um, again reapply the technique